The other night I was watching a program about coral reefs. I knew parrotfish crunched up coral with their teeth, but what I didn't know was that they poop sand, which the program emphasized by focusing on the southern ends of several northbound parrotfish. And the sand forms beaches, so most beaches are, to some extent, fish excrement. Fortunately, I'm not the sort of person who'd dwell on this sort of thing, or I'd never set foot on the beach again without wearing boots. I like the feel of sand on my bare feet. Besides, the ocean is vast, and even though there are a lot of things floating around in it, they're all pretty diffuse. It's not like a bathtub or even a swimming pool, which is basically a giant bathtub, except no one ever gets naked in the pool I usually go to, or at least they don't while I'm around. In fact, some of the people at the pool I go to wear goggles or even full masks, snorkels, and even diving fins. The goggles and masks I can understand because they'll keep the water out of your eyes. And the snorkels keep you from occasionally swallowing any of the water. And as they swim along, these people can watch the bottom and spot interesting things like loose change or the locker key they dropped. But why diving fins? It's an indoor pool and we're all adults just doing laps, so it's not as though getting from one end of the pool to the other faster is an advantage. Maybe the people who wear fins think the fins will help build muscle. Maybe these are the same people who've been duped into buying those new sneakers that will supposedly give you the body of a model just by walking. If sneakers could really do that, I'd have the body of Charles Atlas instead of the body of uh, Charles Chaplin, but that's another story. Maybe the people who wear fins think they're getting an extra bit of protection from anything that might go to their feet. Maybe they know something about what's in the pool that I don't. That reminds me of the time I went swimming in a hotel pool. The water really burned my eyes. I thought it was because the pool was too chlorinated. It turns out the pool was probably under-chlorinated. My eyes kept burning even after I'd gotten out of the pool and after I'd splashed some plain water in them. And then they started getting sticky. So I went to bed because the best way to deal with a burgeoning medical problem is, you know, sleep on it. See if it gets better in the morning. The next morning my eyes weren't oozing. They were glued shut from some funky infection that made my eyelashes all crusty. Fortunately, it was just a social disease and it was knocked out with a bout of penicillin. And from what I've heard, I'm lucky that's the worst thing I've ever caught in a hotel. I probably shouldn't dwell on it too much, though. Otherwise, I'd probably never get in the pool again without boots, a wetsuit, and a big brass diving helmet. I still don't see the need for fins, though. Maybe those people who wear fins are just trying to outswim the parrotfish in the next lane.